All right, so another quick video of Oliver. This is really only about five, ten minutes after the last video, so he still is brand new to the environment. Ooh. <laughs> but he's quite a player. So I'm going to also add to my restrictions no homes with birds, gerbils, uh, hamsters. Um, a parrot might be all right, but uh, anyway, so this guy I think suspect is quite a hunter. And if you um, have any mice, you probably won't have any mice anymore. Um, so very, very interested, as Carol said, you know, a super active, energetic player. Almost a little bit of an angry player. Listen to that growling noise we got. Um, so good, good news. Um, very into playing, very active. <clears throat> very energetic. I need to put this guy with Isis downstairs who is very similar snowshoe. This is part of the snowshoe personality is just you know wild and crazy and all about a game. Um, so so the good news is that this guy even though he's been just out of the cage for 15 minutes and in Virginia for two and a half days you know, he's already all about playing and having a good time. The cautionary small print is uh, he's a pretty um, energetic, active, you know, I hate to use the word aggressive, but strong player so that, um, you know, it matching with a cat needs to be a cat that can play like that. Playing with humans, this is a cat you're never going to play with with your hands or your toes. You're not going to ever encourage this cat to pounce on your toes under the covers or your hands under the covers. Um, guys, are you listening? Because this is the type of cat that then translates that into, you know, nipping and grabbing and, and using his teeth inappropriately when it's not playtime. So play with him is always uh, feather wands. Um, if you're playing with him or toys that he plays with himself or again with another cat. And by the time we have video three, I suspect he's going to be running around with Lincoln playing. So I'll, sh I'll stop now and wait for video three. <laughs>